Results from Iraq's general election have sent shockwaves through the country. The lead is Sairoon coalition led by Shia cleric Muqtada al-Sadr and his communist allies. They have won 54 seats in the 329-seat parliament. He was followed closely by Hadi Amr al-Amri's Fatah coalition, which is known to be pro-Iran. In the third place was incumbent Prime Minister Heather al-Abadi, who has now conceded defeat. We are ready to work and cooperate on forming the strongest government for Iraq free of corruption, hateful sectarianism and a government which is capable of preventing a return of terrorism and keeping the country away from sliding into marginal conflicts. So what happens now? Al-Sadr was not a candidate in this election, therefore cannot become prime minister. I expect him to play kingmaker instead. He has indicated his willingness to work with the Sunnis and the Kurds in the region. There is even an outside chance that Abadi could return as prime minister, but his pro-Iran stance could be a problem. Al-Sadr, Muqtada Al-Sadr, the firebrand cleric, is a nationalist who has spoken out against the U.S., the presence of U.S. troops and the presence of Iran in his country. He believes that Iraq should be run by Iraqis. There is no place, according to him, for armed proxies of outside powers. In recent times, Al-Sadr has reached out to the estranged Sunni community and even met Saudi Crown Prince Salman, who has promised to help rebuild Iraq. He has also indicated that he's okay with U.S. troops training the Iraqi army and helping secure the country. Iran is not impressed, of course, saying that it would not allow liberals and communists to govern its neighbor Iraq. The next 90 days are crucial. Muqtada al-Sadr will have to maneuver to form a coalition during which compromises and deals will have to be struck. Most importantly, he will have to outmaneuver Iran, which is determined to push the case of its proxy, the Fatah coalition, in Baghdad. Iran hopes to use its clout to install its proxy in Baghdad and see the departure of 5,000 U.S. troops from Iraq. Al-Sadr, Muqtada al-Sadr, will have to move smartly and fast if he is to avoid a political deadlock.